somewhere in the... ...and will only be found in places like this. In other words, hard cash will disappear. It will become electronic, transferred by things like keys. So what's the rush to get rid of cash? And what's the cost? Let's face it. Money is cumbersome for consumers and banks. We need to mint the cash, we need to print the bills, we need to transport them in armored trucks, store it in secure boats, we need to sort it at the till as well. Operating in cash costs countries about 0.5% of their GDP every year. But cost isn't the only incentive to move towards a cashless future. Demand uh, is rising, primarily demand from young generations who are uh, looking for fast, easy to use means of payments. Digital payments aren't just easy, they're neat. It becomes easier for governments to monitor uh, tax evasion and fraud, so we will have less of that going on in the future. Having every single payment automatically recorded is efficient, but there's a downside. Let's assume, for example, that a country that used to be democratic, where people were not paid too much attention about safeguarding their privacy, becomes undemocratic and someone wants to control citizens more closely. They will try to infer from what you buy your political leanings, potentially. And they're speaking, just monitor what you're doing in ways that you shouldn't be doing. The ballot boxes are kept locked and sealed. Living in a democratic country doesn't mean you shouldn't be concerned. They're also worried that private companies perhaps might use this data in ways that are 